There's no question that Dr. King left an imprint on this nation. And as we pause to consider his legacy and his life, uh, there's so much that we can talk about. And, and I won't say much, I, I do want to be brief, but he was the most influential leader of the 20th century's most important movement in this country for civil rights. And he inspired hundreds of thousands who worked beside him and who continued that work beyond uh, his terrible and tragic assassination. So as we honor him, we are also honoring all of those who put their life on the line, who gave of their time and their talents to further uh, this movement towards equality that we know we've made some great progress towards, but we have some great progress left to go. As we consider that difference between what we have achieved and what we have yet to achieve, uh, what I would ask of you myself as we observe Dr. King's legacy uh, here in 2010 is that we need to expand our vision. We have great challenges before this community and certainly before this nation. And in order for us to address those, we're going to have to broaden our vision as broad as the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s was in those years before his death where he was not only preaching and teaching about racial equality, but about social equality and economic equality and making sure that all people, regardless of where they were born or what color of skin their parents happened to have or how much money they made, would have the same kind of respect and opportunities here in the United States. And not just to stop there, but to think about extending that same equality all across this world. And we saw that in the 20th century as that struggle expanded beyond the borders of this country to Africa and South Africa and other places where people were threatened by oppression and by inequality. So the best thing that we can all do is to commit ourselves to seeking out opportunities right here in our own community that will move us one step closer. We know that means we have to work together, that none of us can do that alone, and, and Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s teachings on that are very clear. We want to move towards that day where all people, regardless of race or sex or sexual orientation or religious beliefs, are given the same respect and opportunities. Is that something we can agree on here today? Thank you.